They took them, you know. The U.S. military. Yeah. The U.S. military, like the the army. In the army. Yeah, yeah they confiscated them. And I uh, only had two weeks to come home when this happened. So there's four of us. Mm-hmm. We're in the motor pool. Yes. Well, I was living in the motor pool. That's where I was living at. What was your rank? Huh? Were you a, uh, what was your rank? Just a uh, PFC. Okay. I wasn't very high. <laughs> and so one day, four of us decided to go for a ride. Okay. So we went out the back road to the motor, to the pool, and uh, took four motorcycles. We got four of them to start, so we drove. Went out in the back street. We were racing them. Just running them up and down the yeah. street. <laughs> Finally, had somebody in the motor pool come out to me. The captain's in the motor pool. He's the head man. So, I rode mine down the street a ways, and there was a German cop. I handed him my motorcycle. Just walk off down the street, just like nothing happened. Going the other way. The guy behind me did the same. There's two cops. I just hand it to them and walk down the street and around the block and we come back to where they live. The other two guys got caught. So, um, so what kind of trouble did they get into? Well, huh? What kind of trouble did they get into? Well, and, uh, the captain caught them and Give them two weeks of hard labor. Hard labor wasn't much, but it was. <laughs> so they got, they got caught. And we, he almost had to know that we had done something, but he didn't catch us. So. And your buddies didn't tell on you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That's what happened. Well, I bet you owed him dinner after that. <laughs> so she wanted to make a picture of it. Yeah. I could kind of picture the motor pool and how it was. And had a front drive and a back drive. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I'd like to see it if she gets it. Well, you can be sure. <laughs> I'll bring it to you. <laughs> yep. That way, that was that was the story. Yeah. And that was already the time up, and it was, I was sending me home then. And I had two weeks to go. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that story about my great grandpa in World War II. I have always loved hearing the story and I really wanted a way to make it visual so that everyone can have something to look at while they're telling each other the story. Um, if you're a family member or just enjoyed the story, this picture will be on my Etsy page and I will have the link in the description and try to have a pop-up in the video for you to click. So I really challenge you guys to go out, get as many stories as you can from your family members because it's crazy how much you don't know until you ask them. Alright, have fun!